Unitate plays an absolutely essential role in the global health landscape. Uh, if Unitate hadn't been created, it would need to be created today. It's really the market shaper, the driving force for innovation and market shaping in the world today uh, for global health, and in particular for the Global Fund for HIV, tuberculosis, and malaria. So we're now at this exciting moment where we have the scientific advance, we have the epidemiological understanding and the investment on the ground to drive towards complete control of HIV, TB, and malaria. That's historic. But to do that, we need a marketplace that provides drugs, in an, drugs commodities, diagnostics in an equitable way uh, so that we can reach the people in need and reach the people, all of the people, so that we can get to complete control of this epidemic. And Unitaid's played a key role in the landscape to drive towards the opportunity to do that, uh, to innovate, to have innovation in a shaping of a marketplace. It's cutting edge market intelligence, and that market intelligence is then used to catalyze programs on the ground and to lead to, ultimately, the complete control of the diseases. Because in a, if you look from a stream perspective, Unitaid's upstream and the Global Fund's downstream. So Unitaid is the innovator. It pushes the innovation and the market shaping for the newer and newer commodities, the newer drugs, the newer diagnostics, and the market forces that will put them in the range of affordability so that institutions like the Global Fund can support countries so that they can access those commodities uh, from the whole span. So it's the Unitate at the upstream and Global Fund at the downstream. And, and so Unitate is the role, has the role that the Global Fund fits into so that we can collectively uh, work with other partners, the UN family, uh, the Clinton Access Initiative and others, the Gates Foundation, so that collectively we're supporting countries to achieve that historic goal of completely controlling three plagues, HIV, tuberculosis, and malaria.